All right, so in this video, we're going to use purchasing power parity to find the spot exchange rate by using prices. So let's take a look at our problem. If purchasing power parity applies, what is the exchange rate between the United States dollar and the Canadian dollar if an item costs 55 US dollars in the United States and $67.96 in Canadian dollars in Canada? So if we have prices from two different countries, and if purchasing power parity applies, we can find the spot exchange rate between the currencies by finding the ratio of the prices. So what that means is that our spot, uh, our spot rate of exchange between these two currencies is going to be the ratio of the prices. So it costs, this particular unit or item, costs $55 in the US and in Canada, using Canadian dollars, it costs $67.96. So all I have to do is do the ratio of these two prices, so $55 over the $67.96 in Canadian dollars. And then I just have to divide this out. So at this point, you should pause the video and divide the 55 by the 67.96 and see what you get. Okay, so if you pause the video and divided that out, what you should have gotten was 0 0.8093. And if we hang on to our units, then that would be US dollars per Canadian dollar. So that would mean that if purchasing power parity applies, then it takes uh, the exchange rate between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar is 0 0.8093 US dollars for every Canadian dollar. Now, purchasing power parity is more likely to apply for some items than for others. Uh, and obviously, if we have tariffs and transportation costs and things like that, uh, it can prevent purchasing power parity from applying. But in this case, if purchasing power parity does apply, and if we know the prices in two different currencies, we can find the spot exchange rate by finding the ratio of the prices. And that is how you can use purchasing power parity to find an exchange rate. At this point, I recommend that you take a few moments and try a few other examples.